Yo, Wagwan into webs. It's that guy. It's not locks, not nation. Today's video, we are doing a dreadlock review on an updated character that's been around on the channel for quite some time. Mr. Trippy Red. This dude's been killing it in the rap game scene. Loving the songs like Topanga and um, Candy these days with MGK. Um, Trippy Red definitely holding it down in the dreadlock scene over the years. Um, so definitely make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. Yeah. Yes, sir. So today you're talking about Trippy Red. Trippy Red, uh, definitely a very cool cat in the rap scene uh michael lamar white the fourth known as trippy red american rapper singer born june 18th 1999 from canton ohio and this dude's only 20 years old and he's got a persona that's larger than life that makes him seem a lot older than what he actually is um and here on this channel we reviewed his dreads in the past um when he had the black dreads uh, more so when he had some a little bit of color in his hair as well. We've kind of realized that his dreadlocks are kind of like an interlock or a retwist type of notion. But if you look at his Instagram today, um, we can actually see whereabouts Trippy Red is actually coming from with his locks. So earlier in the stage, we saw his hair looking like this. And um, obviously with his name being Red, he dyed his hair very red and this is the tinge with the bleach now looking at the new growth there is a little bit of new growth here so it goes to show he's not really tightening his roots right down to the scalp a little bit of an older picture here as well before the red and this is just all bleach blonde at this point um, dreads being still kind of a little bit short but very matured and the bleach is just devastating at this point um so as of recently he's kind of moved away from the red dreads as of right here this picture here makes me look makes me think that his hair is being interlocked um and he's actually been doing a bit more of a look like that like this where it's half black half red all in the same in the same hairstyle um, the only thing that's kind of been changing is the positioning on where the red is on his locks and if you look at his tips a lot of his tips aren't really blunted or anything they're just kind of like frizzy and loose and this photo here from last year showing the pineapple top that he's been rocking so it's obvious that he does love dyeing his hair and it's obvious that he doesn't like blunting the tips. So as we move on, we see him rocking visors, pineapple top, a lot of frizzy hairs down by the roots. And by the way, visors and dreads actually work pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that a lot of us don't do this look more often by how well it does, it does flow. Um, this picture kind of interesting because he's hanging his jewelry off of his dread. He's got that knot going on there not locks not that I was telling you guys about and his tips here looking actually a bit, little bit more blunted than in some of the other pictures and you can see the roots kind of fading in color that goes from bleach blonde all the way down to red um, shot from the back of his head where you can really see all the dye that's even like sitting on his neck at this point and on his scalp. So I think this would be a fresh re-dye. But still, it's a little bit too much to be dyeing your hair like this. Um, personally, the black look I felt was one of his best looks. You can see here the black dreads, ponytail. You know, it actually looks pretty decent. Um, <clears throat> And it almost looks like his hair shrunk a little bit as well. Now I do see that some of his locks are kind of combined up in some braids here. Like they shrunk just a little bit. Um, I always thought this photo here was pretty, pretty cool. 
shaitan face. Uh, it's more like that Japanese type look here. Um, and looking at his locks, he's got them braided up all black still. But then it brings us to this look. I think this is where he's at today as well, is the black with just the front bit here dyed more of an orange over a red that he's previously had it. And of course, this is from a braid out, so his hair is all crinkly. And uh, you can see that the, the, the tips are still kind of loopy and wispy here as well. So it's rather interesting hairstyle. It has shrunk a little bit. So um, yeah, as of right now, his locks kind of looking more so like, like they're good, they're good. Not bad, not good. Looking a little dry in this picture. You can really see how the color is changing on some of his locks. Getting a little bit lighter, but they're looking good. And they're actually looking a bit more free-formed these days, more than anything. So maybe he's just stopped getting the, the maintenance done. And I always check out the, the, the chain piece. He's got diamonds as dreads on his chain. And if I just look this up real quick here, um, to get a quick image of where he came from in the past, he had the purple dreads. Um, he had the crazy blonde dreads. Of course he had the black dreads. The short dreads. The braided dreads. The pineapple top dreads. And the bleach blonde dreads. The only thing that he's really missing is the lengthy dreads. And we need to see more length on people these days when they're growing their dreads and getting into this journey because it shows commitment, it shows dedication. Um, and this channel is here to inspire people to do that. So definitely keep on locking, keep on being happy and nappy, and definitely keep on checking out YouTube videos on this channel for your dreadlock inspiration. So I'm here doing this every day on a daily basis. So until next time, peace out, one love, stay happy and natty, and um, go check out some trippy red music today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, but look how me tell them, say, yo, yo, say what? We rise up on a left of them up.